All right, welcome back to Let's Play Europe Universalis 4, where we continue to co convert our empire to Protestant. That looks like um, Bohemia and Saxony are doing very well at converting it. Uh, whereas our Protest our center of faith was like, yeah, let's go over here. They have a lot less provinces than we do. So it's not surprising. And uh, apparently Portugal's not very good at converting valuable provinces. They're not, they're not uh, Castile, so they don't get that, uh, that bonus to it, so... Whatever. So I was looking around at the colonies, and I, number one, decided I needed to take these guys back to... Uh, here. Just because... This is what I'm here. They're not necessary there, in particular. And uh, I have no need for a large amount of troops in the Americas just yet. I have more boats. These are my uh, guys who were my explorer, and then my explorer died. Looks like it. All right. So two provinces away from a colonial nation here, two provinces away here, but I still have an an, act an active colony in both places. I have two in South America. Colonial migration. Some of our colonists have decided that the current colony isn't very good and decided to move elsewhere. So, 200 population in Paranaiba. Is that going to kill it? I hope that doesn't kill. No. Get a lot of settlers. It's hard to keep track of people these days when they go to Barahonas, which is. Where? Is that a place I haven't colonized yet? Is this? I thought that was done. Well, now it's done. <laughs> Great! I'll take it. Now, I've been thinking about uh, the Defender of Faith thing. Still don't think it's that good of an idea. So, Friesland's already being converted, so. Good stuff. And when these two provinces are done, my religious unity should be high enough. Ooh, Coco. Coco becomes very valuable later. My religious unity should be high enough that I can. Uh... Maybe good. Oh. It was simulation. Nice. Excellent supplies. Awesome. Uh, I don't think we got the excellent supplies. I probably should have done that. Apparently it came unsorted. Whatever. We've almost got enough church power to pick one of these things. And I'm probably going to do... I, I should do the missionary strength, but I'm going to do the global settler breach. <laughs> I don't care. I need it. I need those settlers. I'm still doing this, but I don't have the... Relations yet. Uh, it's, it's just Scottish Liberty Bazaar that's bad. Can I actually annex you soon? No, not until 15. And I certainly want to, wouldn't want to do it while I'm doing other stuff. Uh, well, marriage. Let's give you how are your relations. They're pretty good. Your friends with Bohemia? get people who have negative opinions of me, though. I want to be a charming diplomat to everyone. Henry VIII! Charming diplomat! Are we still Henry VIII? Can't remember. He's a Midas touch. Yeah, he is. Woo. Let's, uh, <laughs> rival Castile. Our best friend in the whole world. As aside from Austria, of course. Aside from Austria. People of England were pleased when Henry VIII announced his marriage to Juana. At the time, there was little was said about her origin or upbringing in Toledo. To most common folk in England, royals are a breed of their own, and they care little for such details. However, rumors begin bringing these issues to light have recently be begun to spread. Some say that the Queen Consort has refused to let go of her old Catholic faith. While the people may have understood the need for marriage with foreigners, they are less likely to do so when it comes to being ruled by a heretic. Say, how dare they? And they get a thing. Or we divorce it. Naples. Why do I care about Naples? 
Naples is... Oh, Castile. Ooh. How dare they? <laughs> How dare they? How dare they say things about my beloved wife, who is... Certainly, no. Certainly from the glorious and, and well... Well-healed country of... Castile, our greatest friends in all the universe. Except for Austria. But like, uh, you know, it's it's good. good. Marriage call policies pay off. Sire, sire, the, the Herald doesn't even attempt to hide his excitement. Great news! A son of our family is next in, sign next in line to a royal throne. Take that, Von Habsburgs. And noble the Tudor family with a strong claim becomes heir to... Norway. Hekon Tudor. I want him to be my king. Just put it. Just put an umlaut. Tudor. Sounds like he's gonna do stuff to people. Hekon Tudor sounds like a. This sounds like a Viking's name. Actually, their name would probably be like blood, beard, guts, or something. That is not what Viking names were like. <laughs> I'm just saying it because it sounds silly. I don't want to do provinces that aren't converted yet, but I still want to pick cheap ones. But I I expensified all the uh, all the cheap ones. Seventy. I'm in London. Whatever. You can never go wrong improving your capital. Ooh, ooh. Yay! Convert them! Convert them for me! So I don't have to piss them off. Still four years ahead of time. I got, I got converted. Oh, so the thing's gone. I need to have that open still. Yes. The religious, the religious zeal wear, will wear off before I'm able to convert all my provinces. I just have too many. Slesvig. Are you being converted? Or just, do you hate me? Oh, you're being converted. Okay. That's, like, not related to one another, but, you know. Whatever. Saxony's, like, almost done. Saxony's got, like, three more provinces? Assimilation. Awesome. I'm getting some good events. Good events. Tropical wood? Ah, that's like a bad one. Why couldn't it have been chocolate? I mean, I already got one that was chocolate. Burgundy. Not getting it back. This is still one of the cheaper provinces. Do that. Uh, da, 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 da. So when is it saying this? Fifteen seventeen? That's only two years. I won't quite be ahead of time. There we go. But it'll be pretty good. One of the things you can do with these provinces that I haven't done is you could just stab all the natives in the vase, and then they won't be able to fight you. Uh, there's a thing here. Attack natives. But, uh... There's no reason to do that. And it costs military power, I think. As long as you keep your dudes there and you have enough. And you've... You know... Not lowered your stuff too much. Okay. So my religious unity is... 56% now. Okay. Slesvig, I think I need to plant some troops in Slesvig. Can we find an English name for this? Like... Dumble Ford or something? I mean, we're supposed to have, like, names, so we could call this, like... Windmill Land. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose the culture is still Flan uh, Flemish, so and it wouldn't make sense for the, to the name to change. 
can only reclaim all the stuff. I don't care right now. I don't need claims for a while. We do need to start... Uh, yeah, we can improve relations with you. Clone is real super mad at us. Anybody else convert? Not yet. Mains probably will soon. Uh, who has a negative opinion of me? Let's just go into this list and look. Uh, Aachen. Aachen is a friggin' jerk who always hates me. Let's go alphabetically. And with the most likely solution is Aachen. Yeah, Maguana has completed. And was that a place I already had a guy? Yeah, it was. Let's go to Bermuda. Bermuda's uninhabited, I believe, so let's just do that. That'll be that'll prevent any anybody else from getting in. The same reason you should do that with some of these guys over here. Uh, South Georgia's uncolonized, unpopulated. St. Helena is unpopulated. Uh, what else? These ones aren't. Uh, no, they are. Oh, well, not. This one isn't. Looks like there should be an island there, but there isn't. And this place should be... Yeah, in real life, the Falklands were uncolonized. Family ties! Past a couple of days, we've been entertaining guests from the Royal Court of Castile, once home of Queen Consort. So, after we get complaints that she's a Catholic, it's like, yay! Everyone loves us. Woohoo! I think we've had that event before, so not worried about reading that one. I love all the new events because of the consorts and stuff. The consorts is one of my favorite things from the newer patches. It's so good. Like, I really enjoy having more and more events. I would call it diplomat. Uh, flavor events, they don't actually matter that much, or just give you little tiny bonuses and penalties. I think it's fun. It's fun. Some people just like click through all the events, but I like reading them. It's one of like one of the reasons I like Crusader Kings so much, because all kinds of stuff goes on. We're almost able to take a church power. Uh, more development is needed. I could raise my stability, but it would cost a lot while I'm, uh, yeah, while my religious unity is low. So I'll just develop. Yes. Do I have any inflation? No. Not enough to want to buy it down. Okay. I need to turn on my Christometer here. It's good. Oh, thanks. Thanks for coming back. I actually don't want them to to be working on my land because um, the AI can't stop them from doing it and I, I'm going to convert my land on my own anyway. If you were a smaller country like uh, one of the AHGRE miners or something you just let them convert your provinces but when you have like 50 provinces or something you don't want to do that. The complaints from several dignitaries in our country about the new practices of our merchants are clearly heretical and that we should put stop to them. Huh. I can't really afford to lose prestige right now. I'll take the Diplo hit. Prestige is, is going to be very valuable for me. Um, one of the reasons I was thinking... Ooh, supplies. No! My supplies! One of the reasons I was thinking um, that I would take Defender of the Faith was to actually get the prestige gain. As I said, I'm going to take the Global Settler increase. I'll send all those dirty Catholics over to America. How about you go live on an island where no one lives and there's nothing but turkeys? You can practice your popery there! Heretics! Aha! Kiss the rings of the turkeys! Give them funny hats! I don't know anything about Catholicism. <laughs> I don't know anything about any religion. Just making jokes, man. Just making jokes. Probably offending millions of people. 
like millions of people watch my videos, but you know what I mean. That would be offensive to millions of people. Um, Venice still has this province. They're holding out against Austria pretty well. I don't normally like playing at such a high speed, but I can't really do anything else. So. But just sit there and watch. Getting points like a boss, though. Oh, not military power, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> I care so little that I still have a level 1 advisor when I have level uh, 3s for both of the others. Power projection. I need to insult the Ottomans. That'll help. Eventually, um, we won't. We will need to have another rival. The tribe of Podigara has become a state with a functioning bureaucracy. Oh no! That is one of the dudes over here. Oh no! <laughs> we civilized them. Crap! <laughs> That's okay, bros. We will definitely not protect you, though. Oh, that reminds me. Can I protect her at some guys? They don't like me. Hmm. Be very British of me to protect her at people. Who are you allied to? Just. You're at war with Itza. I tell you what, we have a free diplomat soon. Let's go get some claims on some of these provinces, even if Itza owns them. Itza. It's like pizza. Um, we could still take them. Or should I? They look like they're getting sieged out. They're actually winning their war. Uh, I only need claim on one province, so... Actually, that wouldn't help me very much, would it? I guess it would. Yeah, I guess it would. Okay, let's build a spy network on... on... How would you pronounce that? I, I mean, this isn't the same as up here, so it's not like an... Like Mexico, Mexico, like Hugh, maybe? I don't know. I don't know anything about Mayans. I don't know anything about Mayans. I don't know anything about Catholics. I don't know anything about English people, for that matter. No, that is not what I wanted to do. God damn it. What am I going to do with Trier? Good job. You're doing great. Hey, convert more of Ireland. Seriously, they're just gonna try to convert back. Oh, you know what? They've been at 200 for a while, haven't they? Oh, you know what? That's been at 999 for a while, hasn't it? Now let's annex you. Three per month? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's actually slower is better. Uh, this, this little balancing act really is bothering me. I got too many points. Damn it. You know what? I'm gonna develop this province. No, because it's too expensive. Not London, though. When can I get the tech? Next year. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to spend more military points than that. Let's try to buy another uh, general. Our generals are really bad. That's probably the best general we have now. Get rid of this guy. No, get rid of this guy. You know he's a siege pip. We got a guy with two siege pips. Actually, we're 4-4. Four, four. I, I don't have to get rid of any of them. Look 
at how many provinces I have. Like freaking Russia or something. Too many provinces. <laughs> I need to have less provinces. That's like the entire point of this game is to get more provinces, and I'm complaining about having too many. Scientists. Ooh. Ooh. Italy is converting a little. Wars reformed. Reform should be showing up soon. Let's go back to checking who hates me. The plat hates me. I just really want it to be so that I don't have to worry about everyone being in coalition mode. Wow. Austria just white pieced Venice. Jeez. It's pretty bad, man. Okay, we can do this. For the next one year! <laughs> What's this let me do? Study technology. I don't need to do that. I have the best technology, except for people who have these. There's nothing else I want to do with this tech, so I'll do that. And I can change my thing, but I don't know if I actually want to. Because I'm weak in it, uh, comparably to the other two. Um, do I just want to go into a Diplo idea? I don't think I do. I don't think I, I want to do that. So two more months, is that going to put me over for either? No. So by the text. Ooh, Brandenburg's got a disputed succession. 70%. Now let's do this eight month one. Let's knock out the eight month ones. Okay. So let's uh let's slow it down a little bit now. We start to get where we want to be. So we do that. Boom. See that decision? I see it. I see the decision. Guess we get a better horsey man. Schwarz a rider. And better cannons with the culverin. Yes. Defensive shock is... I think it's defending against shock, so that's that's probably good. New idea group. Alright, so a military idea group or a an economic... Or a uh, admin idea group really makes sense right now. Expansion makes the most sense, honestly, at the moment. Uh, and admin uh, kind of makes sense, too. Admin has a really, really good... Um, What's the, what's the policy I'm thinking of? Let's see, it is down there with... Vassal Integration Act. Minus 20% diplomatic annexation cost, which max, matches up with uh, this, which gives you a full, you know, it's like 45% diplomatic annexation cost, which is really good. This is sorely tempting to me right now, because that would help me out really a lot at the moment. But then I'm, I'm struggling to get tech and all that stuff. So, um, we'll just take... See, quality is pretty much really good for England because you get ship stuff. Well, I mean, some of them are not that good. But, like, you know, ship durability, morale of navies, whatever. It's ship stuff. You know, you do ship stuff as quality. Quality also has some decent, uh, things, like the Military Zeal Act is really good. Um, what's something that I'm likely to get? Uh, infantry combat ability from modern firearms techniques, for example. Uh, visionary thinkers is not bad. Um, it's basically plus 1.5 prestige for, you know, normal stuff. Uh, there's lots of, lots of good stuff for that. Quantity has a really good, um, where is it, the, 
I thought there was one with exploration. Oh, there it is. Oh, I, that's not the right one. It's not the one I was thinking of. Uh, defensive is just purely good. Uh, offensive... Defensive is like one of the best. Morale of armies. Army tradition. Maintenance. Uh, defensive or offensive? I'll, I'll get both eventually anyway. Quality, maybe, eventually, but uh, let's go for offensive. It'll give us better generals. And then we can get this, which gives us more stuff. Land leader shock, just after I buy a thing. Woohoo! And that gives me English Bill of Rights, which is minus one unrest, which is awesome. And we can do this. Uh, why am I allowed, not allowed to do this? What? Diplomatically. I have a legitimacy of at least 100. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> if you must, ins if you if you insist. Okay, so two of these are mutually exclusive. Uh, which ones are they? There's one that gives you stability cost bonus, with the tolerance of heretics, and there's one that gives you uh, missionary strength minus tolerance of heretics. And I can't remember which is which. I think this is the way I want to go. Yeah, that'll equal me out while still having the bonus to missionary strength. Yeah. So it doesn't mess with my unity or anything like that. And I changed mine, we can speed back up. They actually are winning. Okay, I came over here to get an army. Did I already do that? I did. We are going to take over Zoo or whatever it is. Because we can start building that colony, and we have a ton of extra admin power. Might as well spend it on something that will help us out. Why not? Oh, nice of you to show up. You know, center of reform. Tobacco in Bermuda. Awesome. Ah, there we go. Form British nation diplomatically. Hang on. Hang on, boys. Hang on, boys. Nobles demand privilege. Hang on, everyone. All of the all of the things. Stop. Oh, that's really good. Stop talking to me. Privilege is the nobility, blah de blah. Doing this uh form diplomatic Form nation diplomatically is going to give me a minus one national unrest. This lasts for ten years. I guess I'll take the prestige yet. I'm not actually into negative prestige. Uh, only slightly. Okay. Form British nation diplomatically. By uniting our political development domestically and extending our influence beyond our borders, we will be able to reinforce our position in world affairs and transform into one of the foremost Europeans. The British Empire. Kadung. So. We have inherited the Scottish throne, which means that all of our stuff has... I thought it was supposed to be less autonomy, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe they changed that. Uh, whatever the case. Uh, now we own all their stuff, including all of their extra guys who we don't want. Actually, yeah, I can get rid of mercenaries, right? Where do I... Where does... Where is mercenaries? Probably up here. You. That was a lot of mercenaries. Go to double heck. Okay, I'm gonna build some more guys. Alright, so we inherited Scotland. Religious unity went down. Start. Uh, doing Scotland. They look less yellow now. Like, because there's no yellow there, 
They look less yellow. And we are super red now. No one's going to mistake us for Denmark now. Okay. So, actually, I think we should end the episode here. So we have formed Great Britain and have a super cross flag and plus one <laughs> unrest everywhere. But, uh, yeah, we've also got uh, cultural, cultural union stuff on... Oh, we have to be an empire to do that. Yeah, we'll get Scottish and Welsh when we form in the empire. Apparently Scottish is like 0%. Did they change all this? To... No, they didn't. I don't know. I'll see you next time.